Before the beginning, there was nothing. By Dr. John E. Ayutut. The act of creation is the act of creating something from nothing. You do not have to have materials to create. Then as you create, material substances will come into existence. In life right now, there are material substances that abound, which we can use to create anything. You just have to be a creator. You just have to be an imagineer. You just have to be a darer, and you just have to be a doer. The story of Jollibee created by our friend Manny Lumba is the same story of any enterprise anywhere. Take Coca-Cola, the store clerk Asa Candler at Atlanta, Georgia, in Atlanta, Georgia, who challenged his imagination to tinker with a pot of concoction a certain doctor brought to him one evening. Before Coca-Cola, there was no Coca-Cola, but there was Asa Candler. There was that genius mind of Asa Candler, that godly mind, that ruler mind, that inventor mind. Coca-Cola is here to stay until the end of times. Asa Candler, though dead for a long time now, is always here to stay. Another example, take McDonald's. The two brothers in San Bernardino, California, invented a hamburger that attracted Ray Kroc of Illinois to buy the business. Ray Kroc, with his imagination and the creative force in his mind, turned McDonald's into a global phenomenon. I can mention all enterprises in the world, and the beginning is still the same. The fact is, before the beginning, there was nothing. And then the mind of God in man began to work in the act of creation. The mind of God is in the mind of man, and the mind of man is God's mind. That is pure Ayutthism philosophy, being that God is integrated in all things. And that brings to our attention that God is godly and not religious. God is not religious. God is not somebody who lives in the church and is afraid of the world. Religion is the greatest machinery created by man to use God. It is not God that uses religion, but it is religion that is using God. Religion is a trap. And the world will be a better world if it only knew that religion was not a necessity. God is the God of the world, <clears throat> and He is definitely in control. And up to this time, His mind is creating in the magnificent inventions in cars, movies, telephones, and the Internet. God is the God of knowledge, and He is so victoriously happy as he sees that knowledge now is in the world. When the first camera got invented, the angels must have been scared about it because they knew that people would be using it to expose the nakedness of people. But God said, after the angels got his attention, let them do it. And now the camera is here. The cell phones are here. The movies are here. And God said, what an invention. Was it man alone that made that invention? No. How can man do it alone? God empowered man. It was the mind of God in man that empowered man to do the invention. It's the same token that Manny Lumba had the mind of God so that Jollibee could be created. It's the same mind of God that was in Asa Candler so that Coca-Cola would be invented. And it was the mind of God in Ray Kroc that McDonald's was brought to the whole world. What an awesome God we have. And he is not a religious God. He doesn't pray, doesn't read the Bible, and he's not even Christian. What an awesome philosophy. A Yudhudism philosophy 
introduce godliness in the world to the world and making people understand that you can really and truly live a godly life if you do it in the world. A godly mind rules like God. A godly mind is good like God. And a godly mind invents like God. While the world is reeling in economic collapse and real estate and high price of gasoline, the religious bark in the world that the end of the world is near. However, God is great and He is in control. What kind of a God would it be if He forsakes the world simply because it is already irreparable? Is there anything God cannot repair? Is there anything God cannot handle? Just what? Like the olden days where there seemed to be no way out, God came with provision through the intelligence of man. God again will use man's imagination and the ability of creation to make the world even a better place. God can do it, and God will do it.